Alright, what do we got? Cool. Don't care. Um... Why can we go next? Well, I, c I can go down to the lake, but I might actually... Well, like, I'd have to go down to the lake in order to get to Zora's Domain. Or I c Well, no, no, that won't help, because go going to the... Going through the... Um, freaking the river shortcut through the Lost Woods won't help, because that will only get me to the top of the river, but the lake will get me into Zora's Domain, so I'll go that way first. Now, bomb chews aren't in the logic, so technically using bomb chews is breaking the logic. Um, well, just getting ahead. Um, getting ahead of the logic won't lock you out of anything, um, which is good. It just means that you're getting certain stuff earlier. I want to try and avoid using that because just to see how much the logic would screw me over. How many times I have to go places. Um, so I'm going to try and avoid abusing bomb chews. Um, for as long as I have them. Then again, like, if bomb chews... Well, for as, sorry, for as long as I don't have either the bomb bag or the megaton hammer. Because... There are, like, most things that the bombs can do, the Megaton Hammer can can do as well, and do it better. <laughs> um, because it takes less time. But there are a select few things that the bombs can do that the Megaton Hammer can't do. Come on. Don't set on me now. I want to hear Gerudo Valley music. Yay! I can enjoy it for three seconds until the sun sets. Bye bye, music. You will be missed. Yeah, I think it's actually possible to get into the. get over to the fortress as a kid just by, like, using the Kaku. By and bypassing the guard at the end of the bridge somehow. Not sure how you do that, but no. Wait, wait, wait. Dang it! No, dang it! Stupid chicken! I needed you so I could get to the other one. Oh well. All right, rip. I have to go around. <coughs> yep, there is a gold sculpture that I can't get. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna. No, I can't meet the scarecrow. I don't have the ocarina. Oh gosh. Alright. Okay. Actually, there's also a. Um, there's a grotto just, to, just right by here that doesn't require bombs to get into. So I'm going to check that one out. It's not the one in the fenced in area because that one does require bombs. It's the one over there. I think this is just like a rupee or a refill chest in the vanilla game. I don't, I don't know. I've never been to this one before. I didn't even know this one existed until after the randomizer came out. But I'm like, oh, hey, it's a, it's a grotto with a treasure chest in it. Let's see what's in it. Cool. I have a feeling that the game's leading me to want to get the first Skull Skulltler reward. <laughs> this is so much faster. <laughs> also, by the way, I'm not gonna like... I'm not going to learn what each dungeon amounts to um, until after I do the dungeon 
first of all, um, I, it's an all dungeons playthrough, so it, 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 every dungeon is equally helpful in getting me to the end. And like, I also kind of want the surprise at the end, like, because I, I, I could be really hopeful of the forest medallion because I know you get, you, you get something, um, extra in the Temple of Time once you get the forest medallion. And if you, uh, and so, you know, you could be like, oh, I will get the forest medallion. Oh, I got the shadow medallion. But that's also helpful. In fact, the only medallion that amounts to nothing aside from the rainbow bridge is the light medallion, and I've already got it. Oh. I hate it when the light medallion's first. It's, it's, a van it's vanilla, technically. Because the, um, so what's happening, what happens is that when you go to the future, um, you normally get the light medallion from Roru, but so, so all the cutscenes in the game are removed. That's, a, that's another part of the randomizer, by the way. All the cutscenes in the game are removed. So the, so that cutscene's no longer there anymore. So you're not actually going to get the medallion. Or whatever the whatever that prize is. So what they do is that they just give you one straight from the beginning. Alright. I can't do the fishing either. Okay. Now that we've done that, we'll do other things that require our attention here in the lake. So, I'm going to get the item at, item over here. See what it is. And then I'm going to head over into the domain. Okay. What do we got? The map of the Dzonkos cavern. Cool. Don't care. Alright, what do we got? I've got one Deku stick to use up. Actually, can I buy Deku sticks in the Zora's Domain shop? Question mark? If not, I can probably... No. I can buy the Zora's tunic. <laughs> um... So, I'll... Because, like, if I... Like, uh, I can probably head back to the Lost Woods after Zora's Domain because of the shortcut in at the top of Lake Hylia. And then buy some Deku sticks there. Because I'm going to need them. Alright, cool. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Deku Sticks, please. Is your favorite boss in this game? My fa I don't know. Bosses never really appeal to me. I have a least favorite boss, which is Twin Rover, because that boss is a pain in the ass. Um. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um. Um. Favorite boss. King Dodongo is pretty cool. So is, um, Baronade. Come on, come on, come on. Yo! Thank goodness. I managed to preserve my Deku stick for a gold skulltula. Alright. Now to play the diving game. Um still trying to think about my favorite boss because Volvagia well Volvagia's 
like, I, I like the secrets that I found with Volvagia. Like, um, like, uh, I know shooting arrows is pretty well known. I'm sure several people discovered it even as kids. But, like, shooting arrows at his face was something I discovered by myself. Like, for myself. Like, obviously, I probably wasn't the first person in the world to find it. But, like, or find out that you could do it. But it was really cool that, like, but no one told me. It was also something I found myself. Um, don't really like Morpha. I hate Twin Rover. Bongo Bongo's cool. Phantom Ganon's cool. Uh, Alright, cool. Now this this spot up here, um, the prize for this mini game is act in the vanilla game is the Zora scale, well the silver scale. Um, not too sure what's gonna be here. It could be the. In, and in my previous rando playthrough, I got a hook shot, the hook shot from here. Blu-ray piece. Okay. gonna head out <laughs> can't do anything else here for now until we get um, Rudo's letter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the Lost Woods so you can use this shortcut here and that'll take us back to the forest and I can stock up on some Deku sticks which will be really nice can't do anything there, actually. I don't have the ocarina. In fact, there's nothing much that I can really do here in the forest. I just need to go back to the... Like, I just want the... I just need the Deku sticks. Deku stick me, please. Alright. Alright, cool. Maxed out. Brain's trying to force yourself to sleep. You need another coffee. Shrek, I love you, mate. I love that you're here. But if you do need to sleep, like, I know you really want to watch the stream, and it's awesome that you do, and I really appreciate that you do, but I also want to keep your best interest in mind. Um, so if your brain is forcing you to sleep, like, obviously, at the, end it's, at, the end the, at the end of the day, it's your decision, but if your brain is forcing you to sleep, then it's probably best to go to sleep, and I won't, like, be offended by that if you need to go to bed. <clears throat> like, I love that you're here, but it's also important that you need to sleep. Well, it's important that you sleep. And, like, if you... And if you do go to sleep, like, you can wake up early, and you can watch the end of, watch the, end of the stream. we go. Alright, cool. Oh, wow, just in time for sunrise. Which means I don't have to worry about the uh, extra skeletal though. Love this. Extra rupees for extra um extra money for the bean guy. 
Uh, I could probably mark that on the map. Although, it's not shuffled. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's up to you, but um, if you do need to sleep, it's probably best for your health that you sleep. Because if it is a 12-hour stream, like, if it started at midnight your time, like you said in the YouTube comments um, the other day, the... You'll it'll, you'll still be awake like like it'll still be going it should it would probably end at midday your time So yeah, you can probably wake up early and get some precious stream hours in So up here, there's another, well, there's another Kaku, but there's also a grotto, which has a chest in it. It's, um, uh, I think it's just a bloopy in the vanilla game. I also don't know. And here we have the compass for the bottom of the well. It'd be nice to get the Song of Storms and an ocarina. And then we can actually go to the bottom of the well. <laughs> All right. Thanks for stopping by, Shrek. I'll see you in a couple hours when you get up. Hopefully, hopefully it'll still be going. Maybe we'll see. Come on! Oh my gosh! Wait, where'd you land? Oh, you're still on land, champion. All right, cool. Now, after this heart piece, don't know where to go next. I could use that bean on something, but I'm trying to think what, because like there's only four that I would ordinary four spots that I would ordinarily plant it. Um, one of them's the. The. Um, there's a Lake Hylia, but I can use Scarecrow's Song and the Hookshot to get up there. Oh boy. This, this rando seed is not nice to me. Um, in fact, I'm gonna bulk up on a pile of rupees. Although, I need to get up to 50 if I want to get at least two more. Um, and then there's the one in the desert. Oh, there's the one in the volcano. Th those are the four. So it's volcano, desert, um, graveyard, and lake. Pa soil patches. Come on. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Only five? Uh, uh, five short of getting two more. Come on. In fact, I'll probably just walk back up the hill slightly and then ride the river, get some more money. Alright, cool. Oh crap. Uh oh, I made a terrible mistake. Yeah. You know what? Well, logic can al already lets me up here because because of the shortcut, so it's not logic breaking if I actually destroy the rocks. Yeah, a lot of people did grow up playing the original. Well, I reckon it's cool that you grew up playing the 3DS version because you didn't have to deal with the pain of stuff like the iron boots or the really slow text boxes as a kid. Um, that said, neither technically neither did I. I actually didn't play this game until 2010 on the Wii Virtual Console. Uh, come on, one rupee. Come on, one rupee. 
you serious? Thank you. All right, now I can actually buy the upgrade. Oh, the, sorry, the last last beam, beam soil beam. So, Link, what are you doing? <coughs> okay. Yo. All right, cool. I'm gonna put one in the lake and one in the graveyard. So, I'll just walk down to the lake. Do I want it? No, I can't actually get back into the domain by that way because I need Zelda's lullaby and an ocarina. So, I won't be going that way. <laughs> yeah, the boots are pretty obnoxious. Couldn't stand them. Like, it, it's, yeah, it's just really annoying. Although, it, it was even more annoying when I play, like, I'm using the Retro, retro Arc emulator. But, um, before I used Project 64, and Project 64 is terrible for randomizers because, uh, the, because of, uh, the pause screen takes an extra maybe three seconds to open. So, every time you want to change boots, it's an ex, it's extra time taken, and it's really annoying. But... I'm so glad that I decided to download a non-crap emulator for this. Wait a minute, hover boots? Oh, is the game expecting me to travel across the... The whatchamacallit, the, um... Uh, travel across the wasteland? Oh, I hate it when it does that. I kind of like the novelty of traveling to the Desert Colossus using the Requiem of Spirit um, through uh, before before finishing up the fortress, Dreus Fortress, because uh, I, I just love that kind of sequence breaking. It's so amusing to me. There's only really four soil patches you really need to um, to take care of. Now, although all the cutscenes are taken out, and so is the owl, but there are some times where the owl is here, and that is for a shortcut back to the market. <coughs> I did a um, another test runners um, playthrough. Oh. Oh, playthrough of the Test Runners Rando, which is this, um, where I did Song Sanity and Key Sanity. I didn't have the Prelude of Light for the longest time, but I had the Serenade of Water and the Fairy Ocarina. And what that allowed me to do was, every time I wanted to go to the, the Castle Town Market, I had to... Uh, I, I had to play the Serenade of Water and then walk over to the Owl and use the Owl to take me up to the Market. And that was... For the longest time, the fastest way to get up to the market, and ah, uh, it's gonna be daytime there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, oh no, but the cuckoo's out, and the people are out too. Dang, in fact, actually. Oh. Now, if by some miracle the uh, gold sculptors are out, then that'd be great, but I doubt it because all the... Like, it, it's loaded... The area's loaded all the daytime values, but it doesn't... It's not playing the music, and that's what's throwing me off. Maybe it's because the music didn't start in Hyrule Field, I don't know. Well, it looks like we're waiting a day, an in-game day, in order to go back into the village. I was kind of annoyed when I started seeing the sun rise in Hyrule Field. I was like, no, you can't rise now. I'm going to clear this Discord notification because it's annoying me. <laughs> dun, 
So, how are we doing? My ear feels weird. Every time I wake up, my left ear is kind of clogged. Although, surrounding myself in heat always usually clears it up. And, like, it's okay. But the... The, like... And, like, so usually it's fine after I shower or after I drink coffee. But it's not cleared up this morning. But it usually eventually does. Like, I can still hear out of it. It just feels weird. <coughs> I think the ear itself is, like, kind of numb-ish. I don't know. Just in case we crash. It's always good to save. Come on, son. You can set. So all, I, all I'm trying to do right now is... Well, get, get the sun to set so that I can go back into Kakariko Village, destroy a bunch of sculptors, and actually collect the first reward. Because I've already got seven, so I might as well just see if I can get the... Get three, get three more from the village. Because, like, there are three I can definitely get to right now. And, uh... Um... See, see what the first skull, gold sculptor award is, and based on what it is, we'll determine what I do next. If it's nothing, then I'm gonna go become an adult, uh, and uh, see what I can do as an adult. Oh, and also, I want to plant the first bean. Okay, come on. I need that wolf sound. Have you ever just backflipped into a village before? Bet you haven't. Yeah. Alright. Uh. I think there's four I can actually get. Which will be nice. In fact, I'm gonna head up to the... Head up and get this one first. For efficiency's sake. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I didn't use the kaku. Damn it! I should have done that when it was during the day. Like, you can use a kaku to get into the... Uh, actually, I can do it as an... I can do it far more easily as an adult, actually. It so it doesn't matter. I don't need any... I don't need to do that now. Like, I'm just thinking the heart piece inside the house. Like... Ordinarily, you, I think in the, van the vanilla game, expects you to either get to the roof using a hookshot or go up to the top of Death Mountain and ride Kapora Gebora down and then it'll drop you on top of the roof and then that gives you access to a heart piece. But you can get there using a Kaku as a kid. <laughs> what a reward! <laughs> Idiot. Wait, that's 11 now, isn't it? 12! Oh! Oh, that's right, the lake. I didn't I didn't count the one I got in the, the river. The one in the river, I didn't count that one like an idiot. Alright, cool. Alright. Um, Alright, so there's still one more I can get. And then I'm going to become an adult because, quite frankly, there's nothing else left for me here as a child. Um, there are a fair few things that you can do as an adult. Um, Thirteen. Your left ear felt a bit awkward. Also felt awkward uh, for two weeks. Now a bit because of me having a cold and it's being annoying because I need to change the headset balance to hear everything. Oh yeah. At least you can actually set that. I just have these tiny little earbuds that can't do anything like that. I do actually have a headset, but 
that's got a microphone attached to it, and it'll, like, default to that. Well, I could probably just wear it and not have the microphone active. Well, I've got my big Rode NT-USB here. Uh, I need that gate to open. Oh, actually, I can... Oh, that's just going to be more waiting. <laughs> waiting for the sun to... Like, I mean, on top of waiting for the sun to set now. Ah. You can't appear up there, mister. On top of waiting for the sun to set now, I'd have to wait for the sun to rise in the area outside of Hyrule Castle. Oh, sorry. Wait for the sun to... S yeah, wait for night there so I can go back into the market. This drawbridge being down is so annoying. <laughs> oh, gosh. 